Hey, what's up guys? It's I Like Fry and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play episode 8. Now, it seems like we're coming up against a lot of mortar attacks and that ain't great. I mean, may I'm actually been considering that I may just uh, piss everybody off. We still have two groups that want to be friends, actually. Yeah, we got Village on the Plain, and we got the uh, little tribe. So, hopefully next episode or two, once I uh, get my base back up and running, have a few more prisoner bays, I'll capture a few of them. And hopefully we'll get some more different types of attacks in. Because if I remember right, that is about our third or fourth mortar attack. And it is honestly getting a little bit boring. We figured out the best way to take out the mortar attacks. So, I'll be nice to come up with a new challenge. Uh, something a little bit harder. Something not as easy to defend yourself up against. So, I'll probably end up doing that in the meantime. And Meanwhile, we've still got a bit of a base to rebuild. Just a few extra walls. We're definitely going to need to expand our defenses if we're planning to uh, come up against uh, multiple groups. As you can see before, it was um, two groups back to back, I think it was. Or I think there was a few episodes where one group came in and started shooting up the other one. Now, they'll probably still be angry at each other, but they won't be happy with us. And it'll be nice of a ch it'll be a pretty nice challenge we've already got about nine ten people ready to go we still haven't collected all the supplies I'll probably have to just set that up manually and what are you doing my base you looking for some food you asking to be captured I'm guessing you might be but unfortunately I don't have any extra bed spaces for you we are running out of power as usual so I may just expand this out as well. We definitely need more room, more supplies. Our second room over here for our supplies is also finished. So I'll probably end up uh, using it. We definitely have enough metal. Okay, we need more floors. I'm not timing this episode, so I'm not sure how long it's going to go for. Hopefully it won't be too long. So we got our little visitor who is leaving. We're definitely out of power, so might have to just uh, start getting up one of these geysers. We're expanding our solar panel array probably around here. We definitely need them. What else do we need? Huh. Gatling guns are always fun. Definitely gonna need some light, more lights. Uh, where is it? Oh, uh, here we go. Yep, we are draining through our batteries pretty quickly. Our solar generators aren't creating enough. As you can see with our power draw, we are drawing an extra 3000 watts. These solar panels do generate enough to at least give a bit of a charge on the battery, but the batteries are only 50% efficient. Actually, I think I know where exactly I'm going to build this. Probably just clear out this area over here. Actually, I wonder how much. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of wood. So I may just end up using that instead.
definitely gonna have to move these mortar turrets. Although I am guessing that the reason why we haven't been getting so many heavy attacks is because we've been using up our resources just as fast as we get them. Now, let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we definitely need to make some more room here. One, two, three, four, so one, two, three, five. be finished up with metal wall. Need some more doors. And I'll probably just set it up so these guys can walk through. It'll make everything a bit more efficient instead of having them walking around. <coughs> hmm. Yep, definitely need more power. At least in the meantime, I probably should put up a, an extra solar panel. Just pretty much anywhere. Fox is still continually refining. I have a feeling we don't really need these anymore. Since we have our little table over here with the food supplies. So everybody can come in and have a meal over here. Now, Brad, where are you? Uh, a Benderkin Hall. I'll degrade that. We just basically lost the vast majority of our food, our new food stocks, but we have um, we have a metric shitload, so I'm not too worried about that. Horton's constantly cooking food for us and also growing new crops. We are gonna be having our new stocks of um, I'm trying to think what they're called. Our new bedroom's ready to go pretty soon. Which is always good news. We always need more space. Looks like Will's doing a good job of making sure that the area is constructed, so... I'm not sure we'll throw down another bed. Might as well put on some long research. Hmm. Definitely gonna need those extra bedrooms. Okay, we got stacks of silver ready to go. A lot of slag. Oh, is that south of our base? Yeah, just about. Okay, looks like Brant's almost finished with the interior of the structure. It's just taking care of the loss of the rock chunks. Right now, it's just hauling off the remainder of our wood supplies. Seems to be a lot here. So I expect it will be a while before Brandt actually goes and gets our rifles. Unless I get him to do it manually, which I definitely need to do. We're going to need those weapons in the long term. So we've got M16s, Uzis, another M16, the minigun, definitely need it. So he can carry that back and I'll have him carry around another gun, probably the rifle. We're going to need as lo a lot of heavy firepower. So 
so if we could collect all these guns before anybody else comes in and uh, messes up our day I will be extremely happy I probably won't be using the incendiaries and where is my crematorium oh ah that explains why configuration I'll allow him to get rid of the buried corpses colonist also get him to burn clothing we don't want him to get rid of the armor vests everybody comes in with a t-shirt so no dusters, no jackets, no armor vests, no power armor so we're going to to do that inf infinitely and there goes a boom rat he is probably very hungry yep they all seem to be there goes another one so Fox is taking care of our bodies for us while Brant takes care of the rest, which is good news. And Bender, I want you to carry a gun. Uh, you can take the light machine gun. We're going to definitely need that. Uh, where are the rest of those mini guns? I can swear there's one or two of them just floating around. Okay. okay, well that extra solar panel isn't doing too much extra. So we'll definitely need to get the next set of power going. And we'll rezone this region. Make that a home zone. We'll also need to remove the roof. That way whatever we put in here still has power. I'm not too worried about damage to the panels. We could always rebuild them. But for the meantime, we just need as much power as we can get if we want to keep everything up and running without micromanaging our resources. More extra batteries. It's not going to be really too effective right now. I mean, what we're going to eventually have to do is uh, build up the batteries. And we just lost all our electrics. Which is never good, because that basically means we can't use a crematorium, although Fox has gotten rid of a vast majority of the bodies in our grave sites. We got some extra metal, thank goodness for uh, cargo, for cargo pods. Although, we'll probably get all the, these chunks moved around. It's definitely unnecessary having him laying around. So, what I might actually end up doing once I get everything moved across to this room over here. Speaking of which, I also need to clear out these areas. Is I'll have another room set up just for weaponry. I'll put a bit of work into it. Just make it all set up so each gun has its own individual location probably have an armor room right next to it. I'm thinking about using this area over here. So I don't think anybody's mining right now, so we can definitely use that to our advantage. So that's in line with that. And I'll clear out all of that. So yeah, definitely this area is going to be a shooting gallery, so we could have people come out for sides going to have to take care of this area as well. I mean, w we want to keep this area separated p so the enemies don't come up and try to attack anything in this area. Instead, I want them to come through here and go through our primary defenses to get into anything in this area. 
I don't know, I'm still considering what exactly we need. But I also need access to the crematorium. So I'll probably build that out a little bit differently. I'll actually grab the planner. So something like that. I'll probably move this around. That way I could have a doorway going up then through. Expand out our battery array once we get this area with our solar panels set up. Then this is definitely going to have to be improved. We're going to have to create a kill zone where our where we can shoot at enemies. They'll have to be they'll be forced to come into an area like pretty much in between here and here. So we could have all our guys set up in this area. We're going to have a few turrets ready to shoot out once they breach the doors. That way we could have soldiers here, soldiers here, turrets. And I'll have a probably have to pull this all back a little bit. I got food traders, but we're doing pretty well on food. Villagers on the plane. We've got three people. A uh, decent shot, uh, average, another researcher and crafter. Hmm. Actually, I should probably set these all to prisoner beds for now. Or else we're going to have to improve the lighting. Oh, okay, we got extra metal, which is always good news. Ah, furniture, so there we go. Beds. Hmm. What did you just get rid of? Oh, you're burning clothing. Branch is still taking care of our rock chunks. And now that I remember, I could actually start rezoning. So what we're going to have in this area is our primary supplies. We are not going to need apparel. We're not going to need corpses. Mm, we're going to need an AI persona core just in case. I think I do actually have one. It's this item over here. We don't need foods, but I think everything else. For now, we'll move the weapons into this area over here. Heavy charge blasters. Targeted weaponry. Howitzers, metal walls. That could actually be useful. Fox, you are cremating. So we should be done with our corpses pretty soon. I think these guys... Huh. I should actually get somebody out there to go take care of that body before it gets burnt. Uh... Brant, you don't really need sleep. And while you're there, you could also haul an extra weapon back for us. We have an eclipse, which is not good news. We're going to run out of power very quickly. I'll undraft you, and I'll get you to take back the M16. Still need to collect up all these, all this armor, all this silver. We're going to definitely need it for trading. The incendiary launchers, I'm not too worried about. They have an okay range, but I like doing my damage direct. Uh, Lendoa. Not ready for you just at the moment. Now the biggest thing I'm th considering is how exactly I'm going to get power from the steam geyser. Now let me see what I've got laying around. What I may actually end up doing is cordoning off this area and just 
drilling a single wide hole into about here and take that all the way down that way we could have just power going through and out probably not the most effective method but I really do need power extra power given that the dimensions and I'll clean this up later but I'll have somebody come in okay Oh, we got a battle coming on to us. Uzis, pistols, Uzis, M24s, shotguns, like machine guns. We were not ready for this. I should have been paying more attention to our defenses. But we do have a bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll probably set up our little kill zone. Structure, production. Uh, we don't have much metal. And we do have stone. So one, two, three, five, six. Uh, Fox, I need you to prioritize this. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick. Okay, that's not good. They're ready to go, and we just left a big hole in our defenses. Okay, you're not gonna need that M24. You're gonna need something that fires really quickly, but I might actually get you up with the pump shotgun. 20 damage, accurate at close range. Bender, you got the M16. I need you up with the light machine gun. Thankfully, we did collect a few weapons. Uh, I need you to work on that. Jacobson, you got a Lee Enfield. Hopefully, there is an assault rifle laying around here for you. Fox. Okay. It's not good. I'll probably just throw a few quick stone ones. Hopefully, I can get this up and running just before they come in. Right. Who else do we have? That's probably unarmed. Okay. You can go over there. Horton, you got a minigun. <coughs> hmm. Harding, you got a sniper rifle, so I'm going to have you grab the extra shotgun. Is there anybody outside? Nope. Might have to get a few people inside the embrasure. Who's got the miniguns? Brant. You can go inside there. Vass. Continue building. Bender, what are you doing? Okay, you guys, just get ready over here. We'll probably have to fight them throughout our base. Uh, this looks like a pretty big strike, so. Okay, Jacobson, I can't build. Harding, can't build. Well, everything's ready to go for you. Okay, what else do we have? What else can we do? Okay, um, Bender. Let's try.
try and get everybody at least somewhat close. That way you don't start they don't start firing on each other. Now Brant fall back, fall back. Bender are gonna need you to fall back. Okay. Okay, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, we just lost Bender. Vass. No, 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 hurry up, hurry up. back everyone come on come on come on move 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 no 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 you're not taking him Come on, get out, get out, get out there, get out there. Start firing. Uh, we need him back. No, no, no. Yes. Dropped him. Come on, go in for the rescue. Uh, come on. Yep, fire at him. Come on, demoralize. Harding, I need you up and close. Hopefully nobody else tries to grab him. And he died. That is unfortunate, but uh, these things happen. Horden, I want you to take somebody out. Uh, we did lose. We did lose two people. <sighs> but. Thankfully, we didn't lose too many. I suppose that can pretty much just... Uh, I believe that's the best we could actually hope for. Nothing much more we can do. Unfortunately, Bender, we're going to need what you have. I think that is our first death. So, actually, we still got more bodies. We got another shotgun, some silver. Need to get these weapons back into base. Although, we did lose Bender and uh, Brant, which is actually extremely unfortunate because we could have really used them to clean up these bodies and making sure that everything around here is doing okay. S capturing somebody would have been nice, but I believe that's the best we could have hoped for. So, we're still in the eclipse, which means we're n not really generating too much power. Like I said, extremely unfortunate. But... Whew. Must say that was uh, pretty <laughs> hectic. I probably shouldn't have started deconstructing the fences, but uh, you live and you learn, as they say.
maybe if I get a couple of these improved turrets getting in. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably be something for next time. We're definitely going to need them eventually. Metal production structure. I need floors. Start smoothing out this area. And given the size of the room, we're probably going to need a structure in the middle. Just to make sure the roof doesn't collapse. Looks like Fox is doing a good job clearing out these bodies for us. What are you hauling? Ah, just t-shirts. Anyway, I'm not sure what the time is right now, but I think we've gone over time, so... I thought I had a roof over you. Oh, I probably needed to put a door into that. And it looks like we don't have a, uh, uh, the eclipse is finished, so that's some good news at least. But either way, this has been a pretty interesting episode of, uh, of RimWorld. So, I uh, thank you for watching. I am, this is, I am, uh, this is, I am Fry. Sorry, I like Fry. <laughs> and, uh, hope to see you on the next episode. See ya.